Hey, what's up? I'm Crystal Levin, and we are standing here with Dennis James. First of all, I'm a fan. You're a legend. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, I heard you've been training Big Rami, and that's the big thing that we wanted to talk to you about. He's like a force to be reckoned with. Coming when? When do you think is he going to be ready to pop? Well, I was training Rami. Oh, okay. I was training him for basically since he's a pro, okay. but I, I no longer train him because oh. he's back in Kuwait. He missed his family, so uh, I, we have to understand that. So for him to be, be in America and away from his family, I think at this point he's not ready. But that doesn't change the fact that he is the future in bodybuilding, and I believe if he continues doing what he's learned and what he's been doing, that he will be there, you know, rather sooner than later. Let me um, let me ask you one more thing. So you competed for a long time, now you're training. What's that like, changing from, from on, on the camera to behind the camera? Well, it's, it's pretty much the same thing, because I still train with most of these guys when they come in, but uh, the only difference is that I don't have to worry about dieting and, and worry about, you know, what time I eat my meal, you know? And um, training these guys is, for me, it's fun because it keeps me in the gym. It keeps me uh, um, um, sane, let's put it this way. You know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, I've been doing this for a very long time, even before I officially announced it because mm -hmm. I was doing this since late 90s. I was helping people. I just wow. did it in the background and never really asked for any any. So it's in your nature. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. I like to help. And I, I was doing it for free back then. Because I, I and just then you got smart? You know, no, I, <laughs> no, no, yeah, I'm kidding, well, I'm you can say I got smart, you know, because the reason why when you help somebody, you invest some time and you, you know, sit down and you map out protocols and, and programs, and then they don't follow, it pisses me off. So I was mad when I see somebody not doing what, you know, basically what I, basically I was on. So I said to myself, you know what, now you charge them. If they don't want to follow, at least you got paid for your work. But I still love to see, um, you know, I travel a lot of countries, so I see talent, and I pick talents a lot of times. I, I, I take people, I say, listen, I think you have what it takes to make it big. Mm -hmm. And sometimes with a little bit of help and a little bit of hints and tricks and a little bit of help on the social media, yeah, somebody yeah. can go somewhere. It's big you know these I mean? days, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely. That's, that's, that's why all these fans are in here. They know every single person, every post that they've posted, like what their yeah. supplement is, who they are. Exactly. And, you know, and you can be close with the fans without knowing who they are. Right. You know, Before, when I started, we, we didn't have that. I remember mm -hmm. when the Internet started. I uploaded a picture because I was the first one that started doing Procus picks, wow. and it took me like an hour to upload one picture. Who is your prediction for this weekend's big champion? Oh, that's a good one because there's uh, potentially four or five guys that can walk away with the win. Yeah. But let's let me put it this way: if everybody's 100 percent, I got to give it to my man Dexter simply for the reason because he's been there too many too many times. He knows what it feels like winning the Arnold. He knows what it takes to win the Arnold. And, you know, even at age of 45, he, doesn't, he, doesn't lose, he didn't lose the fire yet. And for him to make history winning it five times, I think he gave it everything he had. If that doesn't happen, uh -huh. then I would have to give it to my dark horse. Okay. My dark horse is Justin Compton. Oh, okay. Who's uh, basically a brand new pro. He just turned pro like two years ago. He, won, he did one pro show so far at the Orlando. He won that show. And he just made so much, so many improvements that, you know, I literally believe that if he comes in 100%, that he can walk away with this win at this very first wow. Arnold. So it's either an old, old tried and true, truthful or, or, or a, a new, new one. Yeah, a new, new guy. guy. Yeah. And on the other hand, there's uh, one person, Cedric McMillan, who in my eyes has the probably the most perfect physique out of all of them. Mm -hmm. But his track record is not that good. So mm -hmm. his consistency and being in shape is not really... Yeah, it's not really something people talk about. So, and right. he, I don't know if he was ever 100 percent in shape. So, right. but if he could nail it 100 percent, then okay. I don't think there's anybody on that stage that couldn't even be close. It's going to be a dog fight. Yeah, most I definitely. Can't wait. These guys that can, you know, <laughs> if anybody comes in off, these guys slide in. So it's a matter. Right. It's 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 literally going to be it's anybody's game. If yeah, they, and if I, they came in right. Yeah, and I don't <laughs> even think that it's going to be decided to prejudging. I think it's going to be close, closer than people think with one, two, or three guys that they're deciding. So uh, wait till yeah, the they'll probably decide at the finals. Yeah. I can't wait. I'm, I'm literally, I'm, so I'm literally stoked. I can't wait. I'll give you a shout out for Generation Iron and the Fitness Net Networks. Fitness, Fitness Networks. Networks. <laughs> and a shout out to you. I will take that Just and so run with you know. it. <laughs> Thank Don't you run so too much. far, though. <laughs>